In this video, I will show you how to use geometry nodes in Blender to create this proximity effect. Okay, so let's start off by hiding the cube. We're going to use it later. And then press Shift A and add a plane. Then we need to go into the geometry node workspace. And then we're going to press Shift A and add a transform geometry node, which we can use to scale up the plane later. And then press Shift A once again. And now we're going to add a subdivide mesh node, which we can use to add additional vertices, which we can add cubes to. And then in order to add cubes to these vertices, we need to add an instance on points node and then press shift A. And now we're going to add the object info node, which we can use to select the cube and connect geometry to instance like this. And if we decrease the size of the cubes, let's set it to 0 0.05, for example, you can still see that the plane is quite small. So we can increase the size by increasing the scale. Let's set it to five. And then we can again scale up the cubes. So let's set it to uh, 0 0.08, for example. And then next, we're going to set up the proximity effect. So start off by adding a node called set position. And then we're going to use the offset input for the proximity effects. So uh, press shift A and then search for geometry proximity. And then we need to add the object info node. We're going to use a sphere to control these uh, cubes. So connect geometry to targets and then map range is going to control the power of uh, this proximity effect. So uh, connect distance to value. Let's increase the value of uh, this proximity effect in the beginning. And then we can tweak these settings later. And then connect results to offsets. And then to control this proximity effect, we need to add another object. So let's press Shift A. I'm just going to add an icosphere and then let's add some subdivisions as well. And uh, let's add some smooth shading. And then we once again select the plane with the geometry nodes and then select the icosphere inside the object info node connected to the geometry proximity node. And then we need to isolate the effects so that it's only on the set axis. So a math vector and then set it to multiply. And then for the vector value, we set it only to the set axis. So uh, 0.4, for example. And right now it's uh, not reacting to the movement of the sphere. So we need to set it to relative inside the object info node for the icosphere. If you want to change the size of the cubes, you can just uh, change the scale of the instance to points node. And if you want to change the radius of the icosphere influence, you can use the map range node and change the max values. And that's it for this video. More tutorials coming soon.